This wouldn't be a YouTube channel without a cat video. So without further ado, we present Schrodinger's Cat. I'm sure you've heard some version of this famous thought experiment. You put a cat in a bunker with some unstable gunpowder that has a 50% chance of blowing up in the next minute, and a 50% chance of doing nothing. The gunpowder is Einstein's version, Schrodinger preferred poisonous gas. But whatever. So until we look in the bunker, we don't know whether the cat is dead or alive. And when we do look, it is either dead or alive. So if we repeat the experiment enough times with enough cats and bunkers and gunpowder, we'll see that half the time, Kitty survives, and half the time, Kitty goes bye-bye. The quantum mechanical interpretation is that before we look, the cat is in a superposition. It's both dead and alive. And our act of looking forces nature's decision. So our curiosity kills the cat. But what about the cat's perspective? Well, the cat either sees the gunpowder explode or not. So inside the bunker, we actually have these two possibilities. The powder explodes and the cat sees it explode, or the powder doesn't explode, and the cat doesn't see it explode. There's no option, the powder explodes and the cat doesn't see it explode. So the cat's reality becomes entangled with the outcome of the experiment. And it's our observation of the experiment that forces nature to collapse to one option or the other. But we're like the cat too. Either the cat dies and we see it dead, or the cat lives and we see it alive. So who's observing us to force nature to collapse to one reality? Or do both possibilities happen in parallel within a larger multiverse? This collapsing to one reality problem is one of the biggest unanswered questions in quantum physics. So for Kitty's sake, can I has answer please? <laughs>